Welcome back to Tech Mimic, where you can simply view, imitate, replicate, and get on with your day. You are working on the FreeBSD console, command line, or terminal, and you have just attached a USB drive or USB stick. But then what? How can you attach this USB drive and interact with it from the terminal? This video will explain this process step by step. I am assuming that you have an existing and already used USB drive that is already formatted with the FAT, sometimes called MS-DOS file system, on another PC, and you now want to use this drive to transfer some data between another computer and your FreeBSD system. Before we get started, let me show you how you can check the USB drive to make sure that it is indeed the FAT file system. I will show this for Linux Mint, Ubuntu, and Windows 11. In Linux Mint, open the file manager and connect the USB drive. It is recognized and I can open my test file. To check the file system type, right-click the USB drive and select Properties. Under the file system type, it reads MS-DOS. This is just the FAT file system. Sometimes this is called the MS-DOS file system. An additional check can be done from the terminal with the command lsblk F. This will show the USB drive, and this time it is marked as FAT or FAT32. Just click the eject icon to unplug the USB drive. In Ubuntu, open the file manager and connect the USB drive. It is recognized, and I can open my test file. To check the file system type, right-click the USB drive and select Properties. And here there is no information, but there is a link to open the Disks application. And there, under the contents, FAT 32-bit version is reported, and there is a partition type Windows 95 FAT32 is reported. Just another variation of the FAT slash MS-DOS file system. Just click the eject icon to unplug the USB drive. In Windows 11, open the Windows File Explorer and connect the USB drive. This by default will open a second instance of the Windows File Explorer with the contents of the USB drive, from where I can open my test file. To check the file system type, right-click the USB drive and select Properties. Where the file system is being reported as FAT32. Just right click the USB drive and select Eject, and then physically unplug the USB drive. Now that you know for sure that you are dealing with a USB drive with the FAT file system, continue to the next step. Now let's turn our attention to the FreeBSD console. The first step is to physically connect the USB drive to your computer, and chances are that after a couple of seconds, some kernel messages are displayed straight away. If this isn't the case, you can display the kernel messages with the command DMESG. The most recent messages will show the details about the connected USB drive. You can see that in this case, the Kingston Data Traveler was connected as device DA0. DA stands for Direct Access. Your first USB drive will always be DA0. If you have multiple USB drives or external hard disks connected, this might be a different value. In that case, adjust any of the following commands to your specific situation. If there are many messages, you can filter down the output with this knowledge by typing DMESG pipe grep DA0 so that only the relevant messages are displayed. Once you have identified the device name, you can show the partition information with the command gpart show. And this will list the details of the partition layout, the file system type, and the actual storage capacity. Once again, the output can be filtered down by specifying the actual device. For example, gpart show DA0. And sometimes this output already indicates or provides a hint towards the file system of the partition. Like you can see here, FAT32 is already mentioned. But if it doesn't, or for extra confirmation, you can display the actual file system with the fstype command. In the output of the gpartshow command, 
the FAT32 partition is listed as number one. So let's type FS type, pay attention that the letter E is not included, forward slash def forward slash DA0S1, where S1 stands for slice one. Remember, in the output of the GPART show command, the partition is listed as number one. And indeed, the file system type is MS-DOS. The next step is to actually mount the USB drive, so you can interact with it. For this we need a place or location where the drive will be mounted, called the mount point. This has to be an existing directory, and it appears to be a common practice that this mount point is in the forward slash media directory, but of course you can use any mount point, just adjust the command for this. The media directory is currently empty, so let me create a subdirectory USB in there with the mkdir command, that will serve as the mount point. When I list the contents of the mount point with the command ls-l forward slash media forward slash USB, currently nothing is displayed because this is now just an empty directory. Once the mount point is there, simply mount the USB drive with the command mount dest ms dos, then the full path to your device, in this case def da0s1, and then the mount point, in this case media USB. The drive is now mounted, and by listing the contents of the mount point again, we are now interacting with the USB drive. If no errors are returned, and I can display the directory contents, the drive is ready to use. And there's the output of the test file. Once you are done with the USB drive, you can unmount it with the command umount, and then the mount point. I'm showing you this very common error that the device is busy on purpose. The umount command is simply throwing this error because we are currently still in the directory that we want to unmount. So just navigate away from this directory into another one and try again. And because nothing is mounted here anymore, this is now once again empty. Now physically unplug the USB drive. The console is displaying you some last messages, including the destroyed and detached messages. If during the mount command you run into the error message no such file or directory, let me illustrate this with an example with an other USB drive, and in this case this is a SanDisk 3.2 Gen 1 drive. I've actually already used this USB drive to load the FreeBSD 14.3 ISO file onto, so this drive is no longer a, between quotes, regular USB drive. But it is once again reported as device DA0. The previous USB drive was reported as MBR and this one as GPT. Also, there are some messages about a corrupt file system. Just ignore all of this for now and also the technical differences between MBR, master boot record, and GPT, GUI ID petition table. I'm just showing you here how you could still mount it. The output of the gpart show command shows multiple partitions and I am interested in the largest one, marked as number two. But when you try the earlier fs type command again to check the actual file system type, there is the error no such file or directory. This is simply because when a disk is gpt partitioned on FreeBSD, the device naming scheme changes slightly compared to MBR and we are no longer speaking of slices, but of partitions. So just replace S2 with P2, and that's the problem solved. The file system type is MS-DOS, so exactly the same as before with the first USB drive. And the same logic applies to the mount command. Don't use S2, but P2. Of course, adjust accordingly if you are working with another partition number. Here the contents of the USB drive are now visible under the same mount point as before, media USB. Once done, unmount, and then physically unplug the USB drive, just like before. Now you know how to mount and unmount a USB drive straight from the command line in the FreeBSD console. That's it, hope it helped, and if it did, please like the video and keep it up. Until next time, bye.